high in the heart of the Swiss Alps, where rugged cliffs pierce the sky and glaciers glisten like glass under the sun. A silent disaster is unfolding, one that could wipe an entire village off the map in seconds. The picturesque village of Blatten, nestled peacefully in the Lachental Valley, now teeters on the edge of catastrophe. Above it, a mountain slope has begun to shift, massive cracks tearing through the earth, entire sections moving meters per day, and millions of tons of fractured rock threatening to plunge downward at any moment. What began as subtle cracks and rumblings on the slopes above the village quickly escalated into a full-blown geological emergency. With a massive section of unstable rock looming above threatening to break free, Swiss authorities were forced to take dramatic action. Residents and animals were evacuated, roads were closed, drones and geologists scrambled to monitor the shifting terrain. Scientists believe that what lies above Blatten isn't just a landslide waiting to happen. It could be one of the most destructive geological events in modern Swiss history. But how could this be happening? What invisible forces are tearing at the spine of the Alps, threatening to bring an entire mountain crashing down? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Swiss Alps are among the most striking and geologically complex mountain ranges in the world, formed through millions of years of tectonic collision, glaciation, and erosion. Blatten, situated in the Lachental Valley within the canton of Valais, is a prime example of this dramatic terrain. Blatten is perched at an elevation of about 5,000 feet above sea level, on the edge of a steep valley flanked by glacial formations and high-altitude rock walls. The village is located near the Birch Glacier, which, like many in the Alps, is rapidly retreating due to climate change. The geology of this region is defined by fractured crystalline rocks, interspersed with layers of weaker sedimentary material. These geological layers have been uplifted and twisted over eons by tectonic forces, creating unstable bedding planes and fault lines. Over time, glacial activity carved out the valley's steep slopes, leaving behind overhanging cliffs and loose debris fields vulnerable to collapse. Crucially, much of this terrain rests atop permafrost, frozen ground that acts as a natural glue binding the rock together. As temperatures rise and permafrost thaws, this structural integrity begins to fail. Additionally, as glaciers retreat, they remove physical support from valley walls, accelerating instability. These processes have transformed parts of the alpine landscape into geological time bombs, with rock masses becoming increasingly prone to sudden movement. The current crisis in Blatten didn't erupt overnight, it began with whispers, slow, creeping shifts in the landscape that only sophisticated monitoring equipment could detect. In early 2025, geologists observed that a massive rock mass above Blatten, estimated between 2 to 5 million cubic meters, on the Kleiner Nesthorn Mountain had become unstable, with visible cracks and accelerated movement. This instability was exacerbated by the rapid melting of the nearby Birch Glacier, which was sliding at an alarming rate of up to 4.5 meters per day. By May, the threat had become unmistakable. The huge mass of rock was on the brink of detachment. Between May 14th and May 19th, multiple rock falls occurred, depositing millions of cubic meters of debris onto the Birch Glacier. By May 23rd, approximately two-thirds of the unstable material had already broken away with estimates suggesting that up to 5 million cubic meters of rock could eventually collapse. There is a risk that the entire upper part of the mountain will collapse in a single, massive event, destroying the village. On May 17, 2025, the municipal authorities of Blatten issued an evacuation order. Around 300 residents were asked to leave their homes. Many were relocated to nearby villages, or sheltered with friends and family, while others were temporarily housed in hotels and public shelters. Emergency crews moved swiftly. Livestock, including cows, sheep, and poultry, were relocated. A severely injured cow had to be evacuated by helicopter after becoming stranded in a remote pasture. 
roads were closed, and drones buzzed above the valley, sending real-time imagery to geologists monitoring the slope's movements. The evacuation was a somber but orderly affair. Residents understood the gravity of the situation. For many, it was not just a matter of personal safety. It was a question of whether they would ever be able to return to the homes and livelihoods they had built in Blatton over generations. Not all landslides are equal. While smaller slides are common in mountainous regions, the situation in Blatton stands out due to the scale and nature of the threat. The estimated rock mass poised to break away is immense, enough to fill 2,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. A collapse of that magnitude could release kinetic energy comparable to a small earthquake, devastating the valley below. Moreover, the topography of the area increases the potential damage. Blatton is located directly below the overhanging slope, meaning that a direct impact is possible. Secondary risks include the redirection of debris flows into populated or infrastructure-rich areas, and the potential blockage of river systems, which could create sudden flooding or lake formation. Compounding the problem is the unpredictability of such events. Despite sophisticated equipment, no one can say exactly when the slope will fail. It could happen tomorrow, or not for months. This uncertainty makes emergency planning incredibly difficult. At the heart of Blatton's crisis lies a global culprit, climate change. The warming of the Alps has accelerated dramatically over the past few decades. According to Swiss meteorological data, temperatures in the region have increased by nearly 2 degrees Celsius since 1900, more than twice the global average. This warming trend has had profound effects on glaciers, permafrost, and hydrological cycles. Glaciers that once buttressed mountain slopes are retreating at alarming rates. In 2023 and 2024 alone, Swiss glaciers lost 10% of their total volume, the largest loss ever recorded in such a short period. Without their supportive force, unstable rock faces are left to shift and fracture. Thawing permafrost further destabilizes the landscape acting like a slow-release trigger for landslides. In the case of Blatton, the Birch Glacier, adjacent to the unstable slope, has been observed sliding faster than usual. Movement rates of up to 4.5 meters per day have been recorded, a staggering figure for a glacial structure. This has introduced both gravitational stress and hydraulic instability, increasing the likelihood of a massive collapse. Switzerland is no stranger to landslide threats. In 2023, the village of Brienz in the canton of Graubunden faced a similar situation. A rock mass estimated at 2 million cubic meters threatened the town. Residents were evacuated as a precaution. When the collapse finally occurred, it narrowly missed the village, demonstrating both the risks and the value of preemptive evacuation. Brienz, like Blatten, had benefited from early warning systems, advanced modeling, and government transparency. These tools enabled authorities to avoid loss of life. The key lesson, in mountainous regions, reacting to early signs of instability is critical, even if the eventual outcome remains uncertain. Other European regions have not been so lucky. In Italy's Dolomites and the French Alps, sudden rockfalls have claimed lives and wiped out roads with little warning. The Alpine region as a whole is undergoing a period of increasing geological volatility, driven largely by climate-induced changes to its ancient terrain. Switzerland has become a world leader in geotechnical monitoring, and Blatin now sits at the center of one of the most closely watched slopes in Europe. A network of sensors, GPS trackers, radar interferometers, ground-based light detection and ranging, thermal cameras, and seismographs have been deployed to detect even the smallest movements or thermal fluctuations in the rock. Drones provide real-time aerial imaging, while 3D models help scientists simulate various failure scenarios. These simulations factor in slope geometry, rock mass strength, glacial influence, and weather conditions to estimate both the timing and trajectory of a potential collapse. Despite the high-tech surveillance, Predicting exactly when a landslide will happen remains one of geology's greatest challenges. The best scientists can offer are probabilities and warning windows. 
Blatton's crisis is not just a Swiss issue, it is a global wake-up call. Around the world, mountain regions are facing similar challenges. In the Himalayas, Andes, Rockies, and even coastal cliff zones, landslides are increasing in both frequency and magnitude. The interplay of warming temperatures, glacial retreat, and population growth in high-risk areas means that what's happening in Blatten could soon happen elsewhere. Yet, there is hope for Blatten. Switzerland's proactive response, rooted in science, community involvement, and governmental support, has so far avoided disaster. The people of Blatten may yet return to their homes, their mountains, and their lives. But whether they do or not, their story has already become part of a much larger narrative, one that stretches across continents and climates, as the planet itself teeters on the brink of transformation.